from Arlington, Texas. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Texas Rangers. And now, first pitch your coming your way next. Texas Rangers. Man at first with one gone. Jay Mack up now for the Tigers. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable. Does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, he's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers. And Well struck left field. Booyah! It just got out of here. His 54th home run of the season, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Marshall Gillian stepping in for the Rangers. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Nunez. Marshall. The runner at first Gillian. with two gone. And we got two down now. Runner, runner, runner on the goal. That's in for a strike. For the second, out there, and that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Jay Mack up now for the Tigers. And this is a guy that doesn't just impact the game defensively. They count on him to deliver offense. He's the first guy at the ballpark. He's got a study opposing hitters he's got to get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night and he's getting in the cage to take his swings that's a whole lot and so many times goes unnoticed the pitch I got one ball one strike Matthew Ross behind the plate pitchers umpire yeah pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes boo if you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. And a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And that one hops the wall. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Glenn Stevenson up now for the Tigers. Kicks and fires. Inside just missed. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The two on. That one pushed foul. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Man at second. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One out, and a runner at second. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up just enough. That's ball four. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So not a terrible result. One down, and next to hit for Detroit, Roberto Campos. He reached out a walk his first time. Let's go, let's go. And a count one and two.
Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? And here it comes. And there's a ball. One strike. Hey, see it. Drive it. Let's go, big dog. This to third. And that is that. Now to the bottom of the second. Tigers four and the Rangers one. Runner at first with two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan now Walker. Batter, third baseman, Jordan Walker. The kick and the pitch. Runner Eight. goes. Strike in there. Go to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Three innings complete. Tigers four and the Rangers three. Jay Mack up now for the Tigers. Now it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well so when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does and that one hammered and it's a one hopper off the wall should be extra bases it's a double third hit of the night for him. Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. up. The Manager might have to go to the, the bullpen baseball. a little bit sooner well, than he anticipated. And next will be the Tiger cleanup hitter, Glenn Steve, Stevenson. Right the 3-1. And now the count filled up three and two. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And a payoff pitch. That's a base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Tag, and he's out at the plate. I think the base runner thought he had a better jump on that than the third base coach, clearly, as he tried to score from second. Third base coach was trying to hold him up, had both arms up, but he ran. And here's the catcher, Jay Mack. Now batting. Catcher, Jay Mack. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Home run number 55 on the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 8-3. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So two down, Jay Mack up now for the Tigers. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Shelly, rounds third, headed for the plate. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. 12-5 is our score. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Two gone with runners at the corners. Glenn Stevenson up now for the Tigers. 
And the right hander deals. That's a that one misses. The count now two and two. Simmons checks the runner. Mack back on a dive. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Next pitch misses way outside. 3-2, Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Righty to the plate. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Gillian makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nine men come to the plate, four score. To the bottom of the six we go, four, five, six coming up. It's the Tigers 12 and the Rangers 5. And now the catcher comes up to him, Henry Davis. Now batting, catcher, Henry Davis. Puts a bunt down. Tosses to first, out on the sack bunt. The batter number 22, second baseman, Andres Quezada. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Jay Mack. Now and it may be a long shot, pitcher. but a triple right, here will yeah. give him the cycle. Mack. Oh, sit up something right here. Let her fly. He swings and fouls one off. Let's fly. Let's go right here. Righty delivers. Popped up first base side. Gillian settles under this one. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Tigers strand a pair. Ball with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. A 12-8 final score in this one.